you, sir. I think um, I definitely agree with uh, Tessa and Boris that arming the Syrian rebels is wrong. I think it's uh, against the UN policy, if I'm not wrong. And I also think it's a question of the Syrian government's sovereignty in this case. And I think more should be done to work with China and Russia in order to broker a peace deal. Syrian government sovereignty, meaning Assad should be allowed to sort out his own exactly. country. Is that what you mean by yes. that? Yes. Melanie Phillips, do you agree with that? Well, I think th I, ag I agree with, with what's been said, that arming the Syrian rebels would be a really, really bad move. But this is a really hideous situation. There are no good outcomes for us or for anyone from this. What you have is a war between, on the one hand, Assad and Iran and the Soviet Union uh, versus uh, uh, rebels, Al-Qaeda, Islamists, and possibly America. Now, I don't think that the Prime Minister had a good G8 at all. I do take the view that what he did was foolish in the extreme, extremely stupid anti-diplomacy, made the British look ridiculous, and allowed President Putin, who doesn't seem to me to be someone I would like to have back to tea with my grandma, um, look uh, as if he was running the whole show. And that my reading, and I don't know whether this is true, but I read in the press that it was Mr. Cameron who tried to G up a very reluctant President Obama uh, to think about arming the Syrian rebels and thus led Obama to the brink of doing that and then said, oh my goodness, I can't get it through my own parliament. What a mess. The fact is that if the rebels, Al-Qaeda, the Islamists, win in Syria, nobody should be under any illusion that there will be human rights and democracy. It will be awful for the Syrians and it will be awful for us. But no one should be under any illusion also that if Assad remains, it will be terrible for his people, who he has butchered in such large number, but also terrible for us, because Syria is a rogue state. It has been funding, arming, uh, organizing terror against uh, Western interests for many years, and it is the pawn of Iran. And this is the bigger game here. Um, I don't believe one can negotiate uh, with uh, Russia, I don't believe one can negotiate with Assad. Um, I don't believe one can negotiate with Iran. Can one do anything? I believe that the key to this, if we're going to do anything, we should have our eye fixed on what, where our interests lie. And where our interests lie, as a Western, as, as the West's interests lie, is in neutralizing Iran. We have allowed Iran the time over many years through this farce of talking to people who cannot be talked to, to pursue its pursuit, to continue with its pursuit of a nuclear bomb with which it intends, it says, to commit genocide against Israel, a state which is declared for the last 25 right. years Mel war Mel against us. Yeah, that is the problem. That is the problem. The defeatism of the Melody, British people against a clear threat to this no. country's interests. You are the problem. Melody, I, was, I was with you. I, Melody, I was with you all the way. I was with you all the way until you said we've got to we've got to neutralise Iran. Uh, and, uh, and then, you know, um, I, I just. They, they have, they have, you laugh. You laugh. Neutralize yeah. Iran. The British audience mean? laughs. How trivial of you. How incredibly ignorant yeah. of you. Do you not understand what a threat this country is to us? No, you don't. All right. M M Melanie, you, you, paranoia. M M paranoia. M Melanie. Okay, hold on a second. Melanie, wait a minute. Who, wait, all right. Who, all right. Who said, who said paranoia? Because maybe you want to comment on what, maybe you enlarge on what you said, and then I come to Ed Davey. You don't want to speak? No. Uh, yes, I do. You do. Go on, then. I uh, agree with Melanie Phillips in that it is occurring to a proxy war between America on one hand and Iran on the other. <coughs> but excuse me. Um, but, uh, but I have to say as well, why does she always have to bring it back to Iran and, the, and we can't negotiate it with Iran and I Israel? Because it's the most dangerous. It's a very irrational. Is, How is it, why well, is why it can, irrational? Why can we not deal with Iran? Why is it irrational? Where's your evidence that we cannot deal with Iran? The evidence is, if you and know anything... Where's your anything, evidence that Syria was right? Let, let, her, let her answer your I'll tell you why it's not rational to think you can deal, you can negotiate with Iran. Because Iran is currently run by people who believe, as a matter of religious belief, that they, if they bring about the apocalypse, if they bring about literally the end of the world... They have they never said that. That's, that is, that is, Would you let me perhaps speak, pause. or is it entirely rational no. to stop somebody right. from speaking? No, sorry, go ahead. They believe that if they bring about the apocalypse, they will bring to earth the Shia Messiah, 
That's the people you're dealing with. The normal Iranian does not believe that. All right, I'm afraid you are. All right, the two of you, the two of you can meet up afterwards.